Fox and Charm and Ipsy better figure it out because they're gonna start having some issues. Today's video is brought to you by All Form. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. I am a little extra excited to be filming today because Rin is with us again. I have missed filming with him so very much. I mean, just look look how excited he is. Just, just full of vigor. Today we're gonna be doing two BoxyCharm unboxings and uh, I do believe both of them are from this month, which is very, that's good for us. You know, that's that's more on time than things typically are on this channel. Um, But we have this one and then we also have like this one. And, and I don't, I don't, believe either of these are my base box. Should I have waited to do this till I got my base box? Is that a spider? Oh, uh, there, there's a spider on the door frame and <laughs> um, he's not a very big spider but he's there and I can see him and sense his presence and I just don't like it. As long as you stay over there and I stay over here and we keep our distance we can this we can be cool. What was I even saying? Oh the base box! The base box! Yeah I don't think I actually have the base box that I purchased myself. Oh but I might have one to me in PR. Listen, I know we just talked about keeping our distance, but I need to just check this box really fast. Okay, so I did get the base box in PR, but I also got two other boxy charms in PR, and I don't know why, like, it's impossible for me to film, like, a normal amount of unboxings in one video. I always have to unbox, like, an aggressive amount of boxes in every single video, but I guess we're gonna be doing, like, five unboxings today. So let's just, let's begin. Let us begin. I guess we'll go ahead and begin here with the March PR base box. So let's see what we got in here. This is a 20 five dollar box now. The theme for this month is game changers and the very first thing I'm seeing in here is from Luxie. I do love getting Luxie brushes. This is fun. Tact. So we have a pretty purple little pouch and I'm assuming inside we're gonna have some eye brushes. Oh they're not purple. I thought for sure they would be because you well you know. They're actually like a really pretty kind of like minty sea foamy green. We have a set of Four. <laughs> oh, counting. Okay, we have a set of four little eye brushes and then a little beauty blender. I have a few of these taper blenders from Luxie and I do really like them. This is probably going to be my favorite brush out of the set. We have like a little shader brush and a tiny little detail brush and then whatever this is. Concealer brush. I don't really use concealer. Not that I don't need it. It's just, I just, it's extra. <laughs> it's just an extra step. All right, next up here we have the Frank Body Brightening and Vitamin C Mask for Babes Who Bite the Forbidden Fur the mask with it. I don't know what that means. Frankly, I'm not sure if I've ever heard of this brand or used this brand before. I like the packaging. I think it's pretty cute. Oh, uh, this is a very interesting bottle. Not what I was expecting. It's very, like, chonky. It has quite an interesting little pump to it, but, um, yeah, it seems nice. Didn't we just get this? Is this something we just did before you just get this? I'm gonna go ahead and warn you guys. Words have been difficult for me recently. And you're probably thinking, haven't they always been? But it's been, like, much worse as of late. I cannot think of the words. Anyway, fairly certain that we have just received this. I think it was an Ipsy. So Ipsy bought out BoxyCharm or BoxyCharm bought out Ipsy. It's one of them. And now we're seeing like just kind of crossovers between the boxes, which isn't, which isn't great because a lot of people do get both of the boxes. So we're seeing a lot of similar products between them. Um, so yeah, we had just received these in my last Ipsy set I did. And these are hydrating marine eye patches. I guess my eyes will be nice and marinely hydrated. All right, the next thing we have in here is from Lauren Conrad. And this is is the eyeliner. Not just any eyeliner, it is the eyeliner in the shade, you guessed it, onyx or black. It says it's safe for contacts lens wearers. Um, is that not the case with all other eyeliners? Is that, is that like an issue? Something I should be worried about? Oh, I thought it was gonna be like a stick, but I think it's actually a liquid liner. It also has a brush tip to it, which is my favorite. And the consistency of this is really interesting. It's not super watery or liquidy, and it looks like it would be a really nice matte liner without like cracking or anything. Hmm, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of interested in trying this out. It does feel a little on the dry side and I'm hoping that it is just the formula and it's not like, you know, old. But I mean like no smudging or anything so that actually could be really nice. And then finally, last but not least, we have the Always an Optimist Base Illuminate. Oh, <laughs> Illuminating Primer. <laughs> that is a different language. Oh, it's from Rare Beauty. Okay, so this is Selena Gomez's line if I'm not mistaken. And you guys know I've said it a thousand times, I'm typically not a primer person, but I really do want to work with like the luminosity of my skin. I've recently changed foundations and I started wearing something with a little bit more like luminousness. So I think I might give this illuminating primer a try as well just to see if it can make my face more shiny. Real quickly let me get you guys some prices here. So the Rare Beauty Primer is $26. These little eye masks are $49 which I think is a lot of money personally. Um, the Luxie set is $40 also a little expensive. The Frank Body Vitamin C Mask is $19.95 and the Lauren Conrad Beauty Liquid Eyeliner is $20. So the total value for this base box came to $154 
and 95 cents, which I thought is pretty good. That is not too terrible for a $25 box. It was, however, lacking like a lot of makeup. Like it was mainly skincare and then like a black eyeliner. And you guys have really been asking for like try on portions in these videos and I would absolutely love to do more try on portions. But sometimes if I dedicate a video to just like one box like that and then there's nothing to try on, <laughs> like I don't really know what to do. And unfortunately, a lot of the boxes have gotten to where like it's like there's not a lot of makeup in these boxes so I will do my best to do more try on portions in the future though. Before we move on to our next box I would love to tell you guys about today's sponsor All Form. You guys have heard me talk about for a while now how much I enjoy my Helix mattress. Well All Form is their sister brand of sofas and chairs. They are American made, they're easy to assemble and they're modular so you can customize them to fit your space. If you're anything like me you love spending time on your sofa at home whether it's watching tv, just hanging out with friends and family, or napping. One of my favorite activities but no matter how you spend your time your sofa is an integral part of your home and that is one of the reasons that I'm so excited to be partnered with All Form on this video. What's really great is that you can personalize your sofa to fit your space and your style. They do really make it easy to find furniture that's perfect for your space. It doesn't really look like it on camera but like this little corner was kind of difficult to find something to fit in. But with All Form it was super easy to customize something to fit the space. The sofa I chose, the one that's behind me right now, is a three seat sofa with a chaise lounge and this beautiful whiskey leather. I love how the sofa looks and fits into the space. This is exactly like the style I was going for when I was picturing a sofa in this room. It was also so easy to put together. I put this together all by myself and it was really simple. You can put together an all form sofa in as little as 15 minutes and their tool free assembly just makes it really easy. It's also easy to buy online, shipping is fast and free, so there's no more waiting like three months for a sofa to come in. All form is so much quicker and they also deliver it straight to your door. Plus they have a 100 day guarantee, so if you try it out, you don't love it, they will come pick it up and you will get a full refund. So I am loving my all form sofa and if you think you would love one too, go ahead and check out all form. So you can visit the link below or go to allform.com slash alexandria and you'll get 20% off the sofa of your choice. And just thank you so very much to Allform for sponsoring this video and helping to support the channel. Alright, next up here, let's go for this box. This is one that I paid for myself. And it looks like we have a box of charm premium. I mean, I haven't even gotten in here yet. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, like, if we were doing a try on video right now, it would be sparse. Uh, my face would be very blank. <laughs> It, didn't I just get this in the Ipsy boxes? They're gonna run into some issues here. Box of Charm and Ipsy better figure it out because they're gonna start having some issues. They either need to merge into one box or keep like everything separate because if we keep getting repeat products between the boxes, people are just gonna start dropping one or the other. But anyway, the first item we have in this box is from Keys Soul Care. This is a skin transforming cream. This actually looks really, really nice. I love the bottle of this. It just looks really high quality. Like the glass is nice and thick. I think it's also only like $28, which really isn't that bad. Oh, it's a different product. <laughs> I was talking a little bit of snack about Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but um, it is actually a different product that I just received. Uh, the other one that I had was like some type of charcoal-y thing, and this is some like creamy type of thing. So um, it is a little bit different. Very similar brands between the boxes though. All right, next up here we have something from Ciate London, and it is yet another primer. This is the Dewy Skin Vitamin C Glass Glow Primer, and we did just receive another like glass type primer from another brand. Looks like somebody ran it over. It's just really like wide and flat. <laughs> a little pancake. This packaging is just so deceiving. I can see it like through the light. It only goes up to there so you're getting this much product inside of this bottle. So this is something a little bit different I've never heard of before. This is 50 treatment pads transport from the Somay Institute. That sounds very fancy. What are they? I, I do not know. It just says treatment pads. Let me find some information here. Oh it says exfoliating without abrasion soft cotton pads infused with NDT5. Oh, we did actually just talk about MDT5 because I said it sounded like something that like started the zombie apocalypse. Oh wait, I also remember the random blue purple. I can't, I can't explain that one. I'm, I can't. <laughs> I really can't. I also remember the random purple circle is what I was attempting to say the first time. So yeah, you're supposed to take one of the pads and smooth it over your face, neck, and chest after cleansing and it's supposed to exfoliate. Moving on here to our next product, we have something from Honest Bo 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 Booty. This is a Magic Beauty Balm Stick with Sunflower and Coconut Oils. It is not. <laughs> it's just a little twist up looking balm in a very like tan color, which I'm I'm assuming it's just gonna come out clear. I mean it feels pretty nice and smooth. I'm sure it would make a nice like chapstick. Highlight cheekbones. We're not we're not doing that again. We're not saying that a clear balm is a highlight. Just get some Vaseline and rub it on your face. I personally think I would most likely end up using this for just like a chapstick. 
even though it doesn't say put it on your mouth. So I don't know actually. Moving right along here to the next skincare product. Um, we have something from Grace and Stella. This is the Everything is Better Pink Eye Mask. It is supposed to be a collagen boosting eye mask. I don't know if there's actually collagen in it. Apparently slapping collagen on your skin does absolutely nothing for you. I was reading the expiration date and because I'm from the US, I just went straight to like the final number, which is supposed to be the year here. And I was like, oh, 2014. Is this makeup? Oh, it's mascara. Okay, you like, yeah, that's makeup. <laughs> the next item we have in here is from Aether Beauty. Uh, this is the Big Bang Mascara. I do like that shiny lettering. That's real nice. It's made with 100% recycled ocean plastic and a biodegradable wand. That's actually really cool. I don't think I've ever heard of that before. It's a pretty nice looking little tube. I'm excited to see this biodegradable wand. The wand looks like a pretty standard wand. It has like a very kind of pokey looking bristle to it. <sighs> Rin's dreaming. He always makes cute little sounds when he's dreaming. The mascara doesn't smell like Flonase, but very unfortunately, it does smell a little bit like black licorice, which is... <sighs> Y'all know like how much I can't stand rose. Well, like black licorice is on another level. Like I don't even like to mention it. I don't like that the words to even come out of my mouth. The smell, the taste, it's all just assaulting to my senses. <laughs> so unfortunately, this does not smell very good, but I really like the concept behind it, especially with that biodegradable wand. That's not its box. All right, real quick here, let me get gas some prices. <laughs> so the Key Skincare is $30. The Aether Beauty Mascara is $28. The Somme Institute uh, little exfoliating pads are $65, so over a dollar a pad. The Ciate London Primer is $32. Honest Beauty Magic Stick is $14.99, and the Grace and Stella eye patches are $24. Oh wow, so this says that the total retail value for this box is $193.99. Let's move on here to one of the PR boxes. I'm not sure if this is gonna be the premium or not. Okay, that one's the luck. Let me try to get a premium. I mean, did they even like attempt to try to get any makeup in these boxes this time? All right, so the premium PR box here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull out all the repeats because we have a lot of them. So we have another Ciate London Dewy Skin Primer, a Key Soul Care Skin Transforming Cream, Everything is Pink Better, Better This, Everything Pink, Collagen Boosting Eye Patches from Grace and Stella, another Big Bang Mascara from Author Beauty? Aether? I really, I have no idea how to pronounce that. It looks like an A with like the little middle part taken out of it and put over top of it. And then it's T-H-R. Aether. But another one of the little mascaras. And then, okay, this is new. We have something that's new here. Oh, it's kind of new. We have actually, I think, received this before. This is from The New Co. And it's called The Pill. I do believe I have tried this before though because this, this bottle is sitting next to like where I get ready in the morning. Have I continuously used it? No, I, no, no, I have not. But uh, now I have another one. The other one's probably expired, to be fully honest. Oh. <laughs> Why does it smell like that? I don't like it. Have you guys ever been to Gatlinburg, Tennessee? Have you guys ever just like roamed down the streets of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, eating like funnel cakes and looking at bear sculptures? Well, if you have before, you probably know the smell of walking by one of the 10,000 moonshine distilleries and taste tests. That used to be free, by the way, and now they charge you like five bucks. But there's like this certain smell that comes out of those tasting and distillery places. And honestly, this smells a little bit like it and it kind of makes me nauseous. I gotta smell again, like just to confirm. I'm not, I'm not making stuff up. No, that's exactly what it smelled like. But anyway, there is the next skincare item in here. And finally, let's move on to the last skincare item. Ooh, this one actually sounds kind of nice though. The next thing we have in here is from Aromatherapy Associates and this is for de-stressing. Let me tell you, as somebody who is planning a wedding and is very behind, the stress is all I feel now. <laughs> just, it's just stress. Everything is just stress. This is supposed to be a muscle gel and it's for focusing and soothing. For some reason, this feels that's like really cold and I don't know but just because like this is it just it's a plastic bottle and doesn't retain heat well or maybe there's some type of like icy hot like muscle relieving thing going on here it does say that it's supposed to be warming uh, it says experience the warming and easing powers of rosemary black pepper lavender and ginger to help soothe and recover yeah it doesn't say anything about being cold uh so i could be way off base there but um, i mean that does sound nice i'm not really doing too much right now in the way of like stressing my muscles it's more of like a mental <laughs> mental strain all right you guys let me get you guys some prices here you already know some of them we got the soul care 30 bucks the arthur beauty 28 the pill thing is 85 dollars who knew you could bottle the smell 
bottle of moonshine distilling and sell it for 85 bucks. Um, this Yonte London thing is 32. The aromatherapy stuff is 40 bucks. I feel like that's quite a lot. And then the Grace and Stella eye patches are 24. Oh, okay. So this one actually came out to $239. So that is definitely a little bit better than the first box that we did. I'm guessing it's the pill thing since it's so expensive. Did I really think like one is much better than the other? Not really. They were very, very similar as far as like what was inside of them. The PR1 does have more value to it, but typically we see that the one that I purchased myself is a little bit more valuable. But I mean, overall, there is like almost absolutely no makeup in it. <laughs> so I'm really hoping these Lux boxes will have like something that is makeup in them. We'll start off here with the one that I purchased myself. It's kind of long. And I feel like they typically send the long boxes for like a reason. So sometimes they'll be like, you know, a hair straightener or something in here. Buddy. I put something on the tiny table next to me, but it's currently laying on the ground and I just, I really don't want to pick it up. I'm very sleepy today. Oh, makeup. I'm very excited. We actually have a makeup item in here and it's from Natasha Denona. This is the Cupid, which would have been very appropriate for last month. Five pan eyeshadow palette. So I'm excited to see what this looks like. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, okay. I, I like that. I'm pretty excited about this palette. These are very much so like colors I would wear. We have like some nice warm tones down here, a couple lighter ones, and then like this really pretty, very deep. What would you call that? Magenta? No, it's not magenta. What is, what, what are you? <laughs> it's a pretty color though. I don't know. So yay, this is something I'm actually really excited about. It is a makeup product. These little five pan palettes, even though they're kind of small, they're pretty expensive because it's Natasha Denona. Very pretty and I'm excited to give this a try. Is this another makeup item? The next thing we have in here is from Iconic London. What, what are they trying to say there? Multi though? Multi, multi use. Oh, multi use. Multi use sculpting palette. Has the very classic, like golden mirrored iconic London. Oh, it's cream. Okay, I personally am not like a cream product person, but I have been seeing so many people use cream products lately and their skin just looks really, really pretty. So maybe I can get into using these a little bit. Some of these definitely will be way too deep for me, and some of them are just a little bit maybe too heavily on the warm side, but I will give them a try and see how they work out. I haven't used a cream face product like like this in a very very long time so it'll be interesting to see how it goes <laughs> there's a hind in on this box next in here this product actually looks really fun again we have something from frank body this is the perky sculpting body hydrator cute packaging especially like coffee related cute packaging it's gonna win me over every single time it's really not hard to do there could be anything in here they could have filled this with dirt and i've been like but it's it looks like a coffee cup how cute there's also a hind in on the lid oh <laughs> and then it might be a little bit hard to see here but on the back it says but first coffee oh i'm very easily amused Ooh, i wonder if it's coffee scented <laughs> oh my goodness that smells really good yes yes i wish this was a candle actually like i kind of wish that they just took whatever the scent is and turned this into a candle because i think that would be very cute yeah that smells amazing it smells like a nice kind of caramelly latte or something i like that i think that's real nice huh, okay this is the reason that the box was long shaped even though i feel like this could still Yes, it absolutely could still fit in the regular size box. Uh, but we have a brush here. This is from the brand Aria Beauty, and I definitely could use a new brush. It says this professional oval brush features extended bristles for easy detangling and reduces stress on your hair and scalp during blow drying and styling. So it says this is ideal for like while you're blow drying and stuff. I typically don't really use a brush too much while I'm blow drying. I flip my head over and then just like use my fingers, just like fluff it around and like do this and kind of wiggle my head back and forth and eventually my hair gets dry. Oh, interesting. All right, so the next thing I have in here is from the Dry Bar. This is the Liquid Glass Miracle Smoothing Sealant. That sounds like something you would spray on a driveway after you had it cleaned. I think I might be watching like too many power washing TikToks, <laughs> but this is for your hair. It's supposed to last through three washes. I don't know how that happens. I don't know the science behind that. It is heat activated and it wraps an invisible shield around each hair strand to provide frizz resistance. Mm -mm. Okay, apparently the brand of this is called hashtag give them la la skin. I have no idea what la la skin is, but uh, that's that's the brand name. These are soothing stay calm sheet masks and it looks like you have a little set of them here. You do get four inside of this box, so I'm sure they're very nice. Oh, Rin! Next item we have in here is from the brand Rin Clean Skincare. Rin's name is spelled a little bit different though. It starts with a W actually. Uh, this is a brightening dark circle eye cream. 
I've never seen a label that comes off that easily. I saw that it was like kind of flapped up and I thought it was one of those things where you peel it back to like read stuff about it, but that's just, you know, the whole label just comes off. But yeah, I have dark circles and I would enjoy brightening them. So I'll give this a try. And then finally, last but not least, we have something in here from Clean F. Oh, okay. I think I have tried this before. This is from the brand Lawless. It is a forget the filler lip plumping smoothing lip gloss. I feel like I've tried this before. I also feel like it's pretty tingly. So we'll see how this goes. It is in the hopefully not scent but shade rosy outlook. Okay, good. It doesn't smell like roses. I guess it is just kind of a rosy looking color. But yeah, I definitely have tried this before. I'm fairly certain. I like the doe foot on it. It's a little bit more differently differently shaped. It really hugs the lip. I'll let you guys know as soon as my mouth starts burning. Alright you guys, that was everything for that looks box. Let me get you guys some prices here somehow. Alright, here we go. So we have the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette is $48. The iconic London one is $49, which the dry bar hair stuff is $34. The Lola's Beauty lip gloss is $25. The Rin Clean Skincare product is $49. The Give Them La La Skin is $30. The Franken Body Adorable Little Coffee Cup is $19.95. If that's like good, if I like it, that's my have to be a repurchase because I, I love how it smells and I think it's so cute. And then the Aria Beauty Lux Overall Detangling Brush is $34.99. That seems excessive. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Most of my hairbrushes come from like Walmart. The last hairbrush I bought was like $4.99 from TJ Maxx and it had koalas on it. That's the kind of like level of hairbrushes I'm going for. Um, but anyway, let me get you guys a total value. Okay, the total value of this box came out to $289.89. All right, you guys, one more box to go. Let's get on into this Lux box, which uh, this is the one I paid for myself. <laughs> Another high-end cream. I'm real excited. <laughs> so that is the first product in here. It does look like we have several repeats. Let me go ahead and pull those out for you guys. Also, woohoo, we have another Natasha Denona Cupid palette here. That one is just, it's so cute. We have a repeat of the Rin eye cream. We also have a repeat of the Lawless like plumping gloss. Then another dry bar product here. And then finally for the repeats, we have another set of little masks. And then moving on to the last two items inside the box, we have something from Stem Beauty. No. Juice Beauty. It is a stem cellular anti-wrinkle retinol overnight face serum -y thingy merbob. That looks kind of like cool and fancy and a little like futuristic. I don't know. Something about that just looks kind of like space agey to me. I'm not sure why. It's just like it's a cylinder. And then finally the last skincare item here out of our five boxes full of skincare. I have enough inventory here. If I just like rolled like a little cart into the mall, I could open up my own skincare counter. I said that like I live in a place that has like a functioning mall. I don't. <laughs> Mall of my town went out years ago and now it's like a church and I think they do like auctions and sell party supplies. So you know maybe not the best place to open up like my skincare beauty cart. Anywho so the next thing we have in here is from Complex Culture and is did someone tell me that this is Ipsy's brand? Like this is from Ipsy? Does that say that anywhere on this box? What it does say though is this is a filter out daily blue light defense mist. I think that blue light stuff is all baloney. I just really don't know if like blue light is something you really need to be worried about like defending your skin from. I don't, I don't know what it's really gonna do to you. I like the bottle. I <laughs> think the bottle is kind of nice. It's like this smoky gray. You don't really see that too much. This revitalizing mist filters out and diminishes the harmful effects of HEV blue light exposures on skin. Maybe it does do something. I real, I honest, I don't know. That's something you have to like look up, you know, science stuff. Don't ask me. I'm not a science stuff person. <laughs> Alright you guys. So that was everything in the final box. I'll get you all some prices here. Natasha Nona's $48. The Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Wrinkle thing is $72. Dry Bar Thing $24. Flawless Beauty 25, Rin stuff is 49, uh, Give Them La Skin 30, Frank Body Perky Booty um, is 19.95, and the Complex Culture Blue Light stuff is 32. And that brings the total value for this box to $309.95. So this is the most expensive, most valuable box that we received this entire unboxing, and uh, yeah. It's, it's fine. It was fine. Again, a whole lot of skincare, a very small amount of makeup. I am happy to see that we finally got like an eyeshadow palette or something in some of these boxes. I was a little concerned it was just going to be straight skincare, but we did also receive some skincare. 
that I'm very excited about because it's cute. Alright you guys, so that is everything I have for all of the unboxings I've been filming for like two hours. This was gonna be like a simple little unboxing and then of course it couldn't be because why well, can't do that? Uh, but let me know what you guys thought about all of these boxes. Would you be super excited about all the skincare stuff? If you're really into skincare then you might be. Were you a little disappointed there wasn't more makeup? And again, I am really sorry that this wasn't a try-on. There were a couple of things that I could have ended up trying on like the eyeshadow palette but other than that I mean it just it really it's not much. I will however be sure to start finding some boxes that I can do more try-ons with because I know that you guys enjoy those and I really like to do those with you so definitely keep an eye out for those in the future and uh yeah I guess that's all I have for you guys today so thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind in the absolute world to me. I just hope you guys have a lovely wonderful fantastic day and I'll see you all next time. Bye!